know. <laughs> now it's not left in time for life. Okay, because Tiki Talky, I know, and YouTube, well, no, everything that. stays for left, <laughs> for left, for life. And they also don't know about your little situation anymore because I took it off. All right. <laughs> they don't know who it was though until you started talking. Yeah. I think we all know. Alright. Well you do. <laughs> Alright. And also not concerned about people watching it because most of my YouTube videos from 30-2 have no views. Because none of you watch it. <laughs> Alright. Is it a perm or a calm when order matters? Is it a perm or a calm when order matters? It's a perm. So if we have first, second, and third, it's a perm. Boom. Ten friends on bicycles find an empty bike rack, and they're like, what? Exactly ten spots. Come on. Can't get better than this. How many ways can ten bikes be parked so that Elsa and Rashid are parked next to each other? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Elsa and Rashid. How many? Two. One. Boom. How many people left? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. And then what do I have to still do? Times it by nine. Now the only reason why I use it, I'm going to explain myself. That is a multiplication symbol. The only reason why I do the multiplication symbol is so that you're seeing that it's added to the back. You could use a dot absolutely fine. I'm just proving a point that that's because it's more cases. Okay? So we'd get two factorial times nine factorial, or two factorial is just two times nine, which is... Seven? B? Number B. Yep. You guys cut me down for my million guess, billion guesses, and you just said number B. <laughs> okay. Ten friends on bicycles. Find an empty bike rack, exactly ten spots. How many ways can ten bikes be parked so that Elsa and Rashid are on either end? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two options, Elsa and Rashid. You sit one down. One option. Then eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So that's just two times eight factorial, which is A, B, C, or D. Okay, someone said it loud and now it's wrong. Someone said B. Loud and proud. It's A. Okay. It is. All right. We done. We're going to flip to our notes. That's not your class. That is your class. Example five. I want you guys to try these ones out, please. Example five, A, B, and C. The moment that you are putting people in seats, you are arranging them, correct? The moment you're putting them in a picture, you're arranging them. The moment you're putting posters on a wall, you're arranging them for their permutations. So you're going to try example five. We have Frank. We have George. We have... Oh, no. Oh, uh, we have Irish. Irish. Not Irish. We have Jacob and Kim. Have playoff tickets for a hockey game in the adjacent seats A3 to A8. In how many different ways could they sit together? There's no restrictions, right? How many peeps are there? Six. six. So how many ways could they sit together? Yes, six factorial, which is 720. The next one says, George and Hannah are dating, and how many of the arrangements in A would they be sitting together? So 720 is the total ways I could sit those six people without any restrictions, right? There's 700, it was just kind of crazy if you think about it. Um, hmm, oh, I see these seats here. There's six of us. How many ways could we sit together that would look different? And then you're like, oh, about seven, 6.5 billion. 7.9 billion. It's a joke. 56.3 billion. Um, no, you probably sit there and you'd probably be like, oh, I think there's probably like 40. Like that's what you would guess. But there's actually 720 different ways 
you could sit, sit the six people and it would look different. Cray cray, cray cray, right? So if you try and draw them out, you're gonna miss one or two or 50, okay? Now, it says George and Hannah are dating and how many ways could they sit together? So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Shh. George and Hannah, how many for option one? Two. Two, George or Hannah. Then one of them sits their butts down. And how many for the next one? One. How many peeps left? Four. Four. Then? Three. Then? Two. Then? Now this would be the answer to them sitting together on the far left, if I asked. Correct? Did I say sit together on the far left? No, I said sit together. So what do I still have to do? Times it by five. So I would get two, yeah. <laughs> so I would get two times five factorial, which is 240 ways. Okay, let's go back. Let's take our brains, reeling them back, reeling back in our brains. If I had no restrictions, how many ways could we all sit together in that little six seating plan? 720. Now I gave a restriction. The restriction was that George and Hannah had to sit together. So how many of those 720 ways made it so that George and Hannah actually sat together? 240. So quite a few less, correct? Okay. Steve says, just before the game, George and Hannah have a disagreement. They're like, I hate you. I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. But they still decide they don't want to sit together. You know, they're, they're fighting. Fighting words. So, in how many of the arrangements in A, so of the 720, would they be sitting apart? How do we do that? So they're not sitting together. Yes, we take 720, which is the total number of ways we can sit people. So we do total, no restrictions. And we actually don't find the ways they can't sit together. What do we do? We find the ways they can. So we subtract off the ways they are together. Which is how many? Nope, how many are they together? They're together, 240. And what's the opposite of together? What's the complement of sitting together? Not sitting together. So if I take all the ways they can sit together and I add up all the ways they can't sit together, I should get how many? No. If I take all the ways they can sit together and I add up all the ways they can't sit together, 720 because they're complements of each other. So if I take the ways that they can sit together plus the ways they can't sit together, I should get the total, correct? So if I want the ways they can't sit together, I take the total minus the ways off they can. And Tyler, you really want to give this answer. What is it? 480. 480 are the ways they can't sit together. So if I ask you to not put them together, we subtract. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Next. So here we have the word Canada. Paying attention. It's the word Canada. I don't know what's going on. Okay. What's the first thing we do when we get a word? Spell it. Spell it. Write it out. Stack. C A N A D. A. Now I know every single question from now till the end of all these questions, I'm going to do what? Divide by? Three factorial. Three factorial. Not even think twice. That's what I'm going to do. A says, must begin with a vowel and end in a consonant. So I have six letters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Underneath, I'm going to divide by three factorial because I'm going to do that every single time. It must begin with a vowel. This is the catch. How many vowels are there? There are three. Some people will tell me there's one. It's A. No. Remember that we treat them like they're different because the three factorial takes off all the situations where they're the same. So it must begin with a vowel. How many vowels are there? Three. Three. A, A, and A. So there's three. And it must end in a consonant. How many consonants are there? Also three. Also three. How many letters have I set down? Six. Two. I would have said six in high school too, so I'm with you. But it's three and three, but I only set down one and one. Each blank holds a letter, right? Now, how many letters are left for this blank? Four, then this one, three, then this one, two, then this one, one. Now, paying attention, please. On the top, I have four, three, two, one, which is four factorial. And then I have a three and a three, which is just multiplied by. Three times three? Three times three. 
Nine. In brackets, divided by three factorial. So we get 24 times 9 divided by 6. So technically 4 times 9. 36? Now, here it says, must begin with C and D in that order. So I immediately go, boom, 3 factorial. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It says it has to begin with C and D in that order. So what options do I have for the first blanks? One for the first one because it has to be a C. Second one? One. D? One. How many letters do I have left? Three, two, one. So I would actually get three factorial divided by three factorial, which is one. Does that make sense? I'd only have one option? Yeah. Yeah, because you have C and D. What letters do you have left? Three A's. Three A's. If I switch those three A's around, does it change anything? Yeah, same word. C and D, A, A, A. Now this one says C and D must be together in that order. So the first one said begin with C and D, so I stopped. This one said together in that order, but not doesn't have to begin with it, right? So we go three factorial. So they have to be together, C and D in that order. So one, one, one. Then I have three, two, one left. But the one before said begin, so I didn't move it. This one, does it say begin? No, it just says together. So what do I still have to multiply by? Four. So I'm going to get four factorial over three factorial, which is four. Now this one says C and D must be together in any order. So what's the only thing that changes between C and D? What's the only thing that changes? They don't have to be 1, 1, 1, right? So they're actually going to be 3, 2, 1. Then I have 3 left. 3, 2, 1. Does it have to say begin? No? So can I move them? Yeah. So I'm going to multiply by 4. So on the top, I'm going to get 3 factorial. 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off, 4 factorial, divided by 3 factorial. And this one, in this case, because they're monomials, they cancel. So I actually get 24. Example, oops. Um, example 7 has Julie's home is 3 blocks north and 5 blocks west of her school. So I have to draw this. So her home of her school. So this is her school. Her school is three blocks north, one block, two blocks, three blocks north, and then five blocks west. One, two, three, four, five. This is her home. Now this actually makes a complete rectangle because that's just one path from school to home, correct? But she could take any other pathway in between. So we have to draw the rest of the pathways. That's not stated in here, so we don't assume it's fenced up. So in pathways in the old applied curriculum, there was pathways. We don't do pathways. Um, we are this in the counting method, so it's a permanent com question. So what you can do is you have to make it work into a perms and comms question. So this is what I do. I say, okay, I have one north, two north, three north, technically, right? And then how many west did I have? Five. So I had a west, a west, a west, a west, and a west. So I technically can treat this like a word. The word is woon. You're welcome. That's what it is. Woon. Woon. There's the word. If I gave you the word woon and I asked you to rearrange it, how many ways could you rearrange it? What would you do? 
what would I, I would immediately go to my denominator. And what would I put on my denominator? If you had the word wound. Three factorial, that would be one. Five factorial. Because if I went to go stack my letters, I'd have five W's and three N's. We agree? Then what did I always do to the top? Treat them like they're all different. How many letters are there? Eight. And then just put what behind it? Factorial, technically, right? Because I would have eight blanks, and I'd have eight letters, then seven, then six, then five, then four, then three, then two, then one. I think this gets us 56. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it pathways-wise. Now, I'm going to do it quickly so that you can't learn it, because I don't want you to read it pathways. You're in a... You're in a perms and comms unit, okay? So I'll show you how they counted it. So they would count a systems of pathways, and I'll show you how they do it, just to prove that that's actually the real answer as to how many paths I could make. Now remember, they say that they can either travel east or south, because if not, she could do this. That's an infinite number of ways. Just circle for days, and then, oh, right, now I can keep, no. So if you go east or south, so they at least have to work their way to the school somehow, right? Like that's one path. Uh, that's two. There's three. Like, I'm going to miss one or two or ten if I try and attempt to do it that way, right? So, in the pathways unit way back when, what we would do is we would just sum up all the pathways. So, from here to get to this piece, I could only do one path. I literally could just walk to it, right? If I wanted to get to this one, it would be one path. To this one, it would take me one path. I'd walk straight to it because I can only walk east or south. To get to this path, it would take me one and to get to this very end one, I could just walk straight to it. That would be one path to get me there, right? Because I'm not allowed to circle and go back. This one would take me one. This one would take me one. This one would take me one. So on the edge ones, I could either go completely south or completely east, and I'd get one. And then as a pathways question, we would just add them all up. So we would total as we go along. So to get to this path, how many paths come into it? Well, one path and one path, so that's a total of two. Then to come into this one, I have two paths coming in, one path coming, which is a total of three. Then three paths coming in, one, which is a total of four. Four and one is a total of five. So I'm just adding the paths up as I go along. Five paths coming in, one, so there'd be six to get me here. Then this is one and two, so that'd be three to get me here. Three and three, so this gets me six paths total here. Six and four, this is ten paths to get to this spot. Ten and five is fifteen. Fifteen and six is twenty-one. One and three is four. Four and six is ten. 10 and 10 is 20, 20 and 15 is 35, 35 and 21 is 50, 6, the same answer. Am I going to ask you to do a pathways question? No, because it's not a pathways curriculum. I'm just doing it to prove that when you do it as a perms and comm, you get the same answer. It's 56. It really does work. I just totaled them up as we went along. I was just adding them up. This is one path in, one path in gets me a total of two paths here. Two paths uh -huh. get me here, three paths, one path here, three. Okay. Three in here, one in here, four. But I don't actually want you to do it that way. I was just, instead of just trusting me that it actually does work. So let's look down here. This is the last one we're going to do for today. What happens when I have two? So here it says, a supervisor of the city bus department is determining how many routes there are from the bus station to the concert hall. Determine the number of routes possible if the bus must always move closer to the concert hall, which means it can't loop back, because then you'd have infinite answers. So we're going to do each separately. How would I do this one? I would have a west, 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 if you want to call it. I could label them whatever letters I want. They just have to be the same letters. So I could go www, and then I could go b, 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 b. And somebody would say, why did you pick b? Because it was the first letter that popped into my head. It doesn't matter. They just have to be different letters, right? Don't spend time being like, is it north, is it west? Never eat shredded wheat, never eat soggy wieners. I don't remember. Don't spend your time doing that. Pick same letter, same letter, okay? It could be L's, it could be P's, it doesn't matter. So how many letters do we have? We have W, 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 B, 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 B. How do I get that as a word? What are all the permutations of that word? On the bottom I would have 
3 factorial for the 3 W's, then what? 4 factorial for the 4 B's, and what would I have on the top? 7 factorial because of the 7 letters. Then I have these ones. So I'm going to go D, 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 M, M. Once again, just letters that popped in my head. There was not really a rhyme or reason why I picked those. They were just there. So now I have the word D, 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 M, M. How can I arrange that? On the bottom I'm going to get 3 factorial, 2 factorial, and on the top, 5 factorial. Okay, so the 7 factorial divided by this one I get 35. So 35 passed on that one. Okay, 120 divided by. So I get 10. Now, most people can get to here on the test if they remember, and then they go, oh crap, do I add or do I multiply? And both answers will be on the test. So, you need to know what you're doing. Now, what's the difference between multiply and add? Multiply is and, add is or. So I have to ask myself, myself, because there's more than one of me, <laughs> um, if I'm going from the bus station to the concert hall, do I have to take these paths and these paths to get me here? Or can I take these paths or these paths? If I take these paths or these paths, I could just take these ones and it would miraculously get me there. Or these ones, and it would miraculously get me there. Like there's a space-time continuum problem if I use the word or. Isn't there? Like I just jump miraculously through the time, and I get to these ones. Or through time to get to these ones. So it's never or, it's and. So I multiply. The other way that I help myself remember is between these, I'll make a really closed big dot. Like I do this. What does a closed dot usually represent? Multiplication. So I always put a little dot, uh, by a little aggressively large, it looks like, dot in between them, which reminds me to do what? What is a closed dot? <laughs> multiplication. Multiplication, people. Multiplication. So I'm going to do 35 times 10, which is 350. What you're going to have for tomorrow done is you're going to flip ahead to number 6. It looks exactly like this. There's three of them. Right here. I want these answered for tomorrow. For C, you're going to get three of them and multiply them.